Hey, ladies, welcome back. Good to see you. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we, we've got everybody in here. We're just going to do the same class again. Yes. <laughs> perfect, perfect. We made an appointment, you know? <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's true. <laughs> you have a good weekend? Tell us about your weekend. Uh, about my weekend. You know what? I had a I had a quiet weekend. I um, let's see, what did I do? Stay at home, watching TV. Yeah, most most no no. I didn't watch any TV. I, I was doing some studying, and um, I've actually uh, applied for for school next September. Uh, yeah. So what, I was doing what, applications, filling up applications. What do you mean? Like to study. Yeah, to study at university. I, I I might go back to Canada ah, yeah. for for a year and do a little bit of studying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get a second degree. Uh, That's sorry. The plan. <laughs> Pardon me, Liliana? If you don't mind uh, if you don't mind, uh, can I ask you what did you study? Uh, before I studied uh, geography and history. Uh huh. History of Latin America, actually. Yeah, really. Wow, great. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought of opening a class related to history? Because I'm, I'm really interested in history and geography. Hey, that's a really good idea. I don't know. I'll, I'll, um, I'll talk to, to the people at Colingo about it. Actually, t today I, I'm starting a new class on um, beginner English for Spanish speakers. That's my last really? class today. Uh, mm -hmm. Beginners, only beginners. Only for beginners, because uh, it's, I'm going to. They're 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 going to have a low level, so I might have to do I'm a lot of. I'm just watching. Okay. Oh. Just watching because I'm interested in uh, in teaching English. Or, uh, so, what do you teach, Daniel, on Colingo as well? Yeah, on Colingo, on Colingo. Oh, okay. wow, great! It will be fun. Yeah, I'm looking yes. forward to it. But uh, yeah, Liliana, I'm, and I'm going to go back to school to get my education degree because right now I just have a, a Bachelor of Arts. So I'd like to get two, a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Education. So where can I find the Spanish class, Daniel? Well, it, it's actually, when it's, it's not actually a Spanish class. It's a, an English class for Spanish speakers. Oh, I see. Only for Spanish. You'll, you'll have to ask Liliana to teach you Spanish. Yes, I, I can uh, help you with your Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank sure. you. We can make a, an, uh, an exchange. I do it with some uh, British, uh, Irish uh, friends. Yeah, but I don't have anything to exchange. <laughs> Good point. So I, I can help you without any interest. Only to teach you Spanish. Ah, uh, there you oh, go. Thank you. Sounds like you could figure something out there. Good. Uh, Raphael, how are you doing? Hello, teacher. I'm doing well. What about you? I'm doing really good. I'm doing good. How was your weekend, Raphael? It was good, so. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Raphael, where are you from? I am from Brazil, teacher. What from about Brazil? you? Uh, I'm from Canada, but I live in Mexico. Ah, okay. Nice. Wow. And Raphael, this is our first class together, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, cool. Well, welcome to class. Thank you so much. I appreciate right. that. And uh, so so, I see you there. How are you doing, so so? I'm fine. How are you, Viva? I'm good. I'm good. So so, have we had class before? Uh, I don't think so. Never, eh? Okay. So so, so where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. From Saudi Arabia, excellent. And how was your weekend? Oh, uh, fine. Yeah. It, anything interesting happening? No. No. <laughs> okay. Well, w welcome to class. Welcome to class. Hey, Thanks. Victor. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Hello, hello. Uh, and I saw everybody else last class. I, I, I was explaining last class that they've done the whole the whole switch over with Colingo. So it's a new format. And right now it's the first class that I've taught where I'm using the, the new format. Right? So I'm a little bit excited here. 
I get a little bit excited. <laughs> Wait, does anybody know what the topic of this class is? Did you notice coming in? Vocabulary. Business. Vocabulary. Yeah. Vocabulary. It's, it's an advanced English class and it is vocabulary. And the title of it is Getting Into the Flow. Okay? So it kind of gives us right at the beginning there um, what we have to think about for this. So do you ever find yourself so completely gripped by what you are doing that you lose track of time? What, what does it mean, guys, to be gripped? Good question, teacher. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Busy. Confused. Mm -hmm. Confused? Not really. Gripped means... Something, something makes you uncomfort. No, Anxious. No. 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 Sure? To be into something. Like, you are, you are working out about something. Ah, uh, so you're a little bit closer. Yeah, you're closer. When you're gripped with something, it means... Oh, it's great, almost like an addiction. It's like an addiction. Okay? Mm, but, wow, um, I see. But, but like a good addiction. Okay, so like it's something um, positive. <laughs> so you can say yeah, you're you're gripped by Colingo, right? <laughs> uh, um, you're gripped. You're completely gripped by it. You're just like, I want more Colingo. I want more Colingo. Uh -huh. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> it's an addiction, but. We can't say Colingo is a bad addiction because you're you're learning, right? It's a good addiction. education. Right? It's it's not like saying I'm addicted to um, beer. Right? <laughs> Colingo's Colingo's up here. Beer's down here, right? For addictions. Mm -hmm. So to say you're gripped by something means that you just want more and more, and you want to keep doing it and doing it. Okay. So the question here, do you ever find yourself so completely gripped by what you are doing that you lose track of time? What does it mean to lose track of time? You don't notice the time is going on. Exactly, exactly. You, you're, you're doing uh, time it. Time you. Sorry, I'm hearing a little bit of uh, brown, gun, brown noise. Something. Uh, Someone's breath. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do hear that as well, actually. Okay. So if anybody's got a headset on or breathing into it, maybe just move your headset a little bit. Um, okay, so is there anything that anyone does where they are completely gripped and they lose track of time? Can anyone think of things they do? Yeah, me learning English. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like, oh, English has me gripped. I lose track of time. Uh, Quinn, what do you mean by losing track of time? How, how much? What happens? What happens? Yes, um, I remember when I had to finish my thesis at school, but I didn't want to do my thesis at all, even though it was very important to me. And the only thing I wanted to focus on was uh, learning English. I read a lot of articles and watched a lot of videos. I totally lost track of time. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. Sometimes I, I study my vocabulary cards in Spanish, mm -hmm. and I look at the clock and I realize I've been doing it for three hours. I'm like, oh, wow. I was, I was <laughs> really good. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's, that's seriously losing track of time. <laughs> Are you, what about you? Is there anything you do? that you get that completely grips you? There's some time when uh, my exam uh, stays in, yeah. yeah. I'm losing the track of time, of course. With studying? Uh, yeah, studying. I'm, I'm, I'm a student as well. If, uh, besides, I'm doing my job, I'm studying. Okay, okay. Wow. Busy, busy. I am. <laughs> yeah, it's quite busy. Uh, yeah, I'm a still a student like you, Daniel. Okay. I'm a student. Excellent. Well, you know, I think I think I you all, really we're all students forever, right? Life yeah. life is one big school and we're always learning more and yeah. more. I'm always studying. Yeah. Yes, for okay. sure. Yes. It's a lifelong process. And it's a long process. It's a never ending process. Uh, yes. Never ending. Uh, Liliana, how about you? Is there anything you do uh, where you get completely gripped and, and you lose track of time? 
recital language, like uh, English and French. Uh, I think I uh, uh, to my class dances. Uh, sorry, dance classes. I love to dance. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, but could you dance salsa? Could you dance salsa? Salsa, yes. Salsa, uh, merengue, cumbia, vallena. Uh, uh, All of uh, tropical Caribbean music. So I, I, I really like it because I, I relax myself and I I forgot I forgot the world exists when I am dancing. I only follow the music mm -hmm. and it's great. It's Interesting. a great experience. Yeah. Sure, sure. Do you do you ever go to um to like a salsa bar and you're uh, dancing all night and you realize, oh, it's time to go. Yes. <laughs> time flies when you are dancing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And when there's good music too. Yes, you know, and the rhythm, that, right? And it's a therapy as well. Because yeah. You, uh, at the same time, you are exercising and uh, you are. Um, how can I say? You enjoy yourself. Doing, uh, For sure. So, Great. Right, excellent. Uh, Raphael. Hi. Hey, Raphael. Is there anything you do where you get completely gripped and lose track of time? Yeah, I always lose track of my time when I start to program, you know, because I am a programmer. I mean, oh. I devise code for a computer, do you know? So sure. when I see, oh man, it's past three hours, four hours, and I still here <laughs> trying to fix this problem, you know? It's a kind of weird situation, you know? Yeah. No, I I definitely understand that. I, I have a, a cousin, and he works for, he's an editor for movies. Okay. Does editing for movies, and sometimes he's downstairs working in his office for eight hours at a time, and he, he loses yeah. completely. He loses track of time completely. Yeah. yeah, you don't figure out that. Oh man, spends a lot of time, and I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Uh, Sakutara, how about you? Do you lose track of time with things? Um. I lose track of my time uh, when I'm um, watching a uh, horrible film. I think so. With, with what horror. film? Horror films. Horrible uh, film. Horror. Watch horror yeah. film. Uh, okay. You just you just watching and watching and watching. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can oh, understand uh, that. that. That happens a lot with TV with people, right? You you get sucked <laughs> into something and you're like, and and now they have um, on TV. There are many TV series. You know, on on TV you have these TV series where they connect the different ones. And some people I know they try to watch all of the TV series, and they can't stop. <laughs> they can't stop, right? You, you buy the Not me. <laughs> on uh, and uh, check my Facebook. Ah, Facebook, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you can get yeah, completely but, gripped but by that's Facebook. not gripped. That's not the grip. It's because it's, it's bad. No, it depends. depends. Well, it depends on how you look at it. And it, it's not mm -hmm. when you say gripped by something. Um, it just means it's it's taking all of your time. I I know what you're saying, but um, it's not a, it's not exactly like that. It's not exactly like an addiction. When it means you're gripped, it means it's it's taking the time you're focused on. Okay? You, lose track of time. Okay? you can still get gripped by something. I, I think so I, I maybe I used a bad analogy to, to compare it to an addiction with um, like alcohol or drugs or something. It's something that is taking up your time. Okay? Mm -hmm. You get lost with it. I mean, you have to focus on in, in some kind of task. I you know, can I say that's a grip action, you know? Sure, yeah, that's that's a great way. Focused on a task. I like that. Focused on a task, and you're very focused on a task. Very focused. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So a task could be um, looking at photos or changing status on Facebook for hours, or watching. <laughs> Sorry, Wen, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Playing so it can be games. good or it can be bad. It can be mm. good or bad, but uh, it's it's not always something that we can judge, right? If somebody says yeah. I got ripped by a TV series, we can say, oh, that's bad. 
But oh, yeah. it's, okay. I don't know, maybe it's not so bad, right? I think it's the it's the depend on the opinion. Sure. Yeah, you're right. You're right, second time. Servet, how about you? Yeah. I can I can keep track of my time. Never at all. <laughs> uh, what, what is it that grips you? <laughs> oh, after Colingo, time flies. <laughs> I don't know, three weeks. I don't know how it <laughs> passed. Uh, <laughs> Colleen, go change your life. <laughs> <laughs> Tag or sorry, uh, Servet looks at his calendar and he sees, oh, I missed my mother's birthday, and I, <laughs> I was supposed to go to work last week. I never went to work. And Colingo, huh? I don't go to the bathroom anymore. I don't eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a little bottle beside you. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I understand that. I understand that. And I swimming when I swim. I think I love swimming. Ah, the times for I yes. That's good. <coughs> yeah. Thinking. Yeah, exercise is great like that, right? When you just kind of let your mind go yeah. blank and you're doing your exercises. Yeah, it, it, that's good, sir. But if you can do that, some people have a tough time and they're like. <laughs> Looking at the clock, like, come on, just want to finish. Oh, I've only been swimming for five minutes. <laughs> now, because you relax yourself at the same time, you are exercising. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Liliana, that, you, you, that's a good point. And, and Servet, if you can do that, well, no, I, <laughs> no not now. <laughs> good. Uh, so, so, how about you? Is there anything that you get gripped by and you lose track mm -hmm. of time? I usually lose track of time on YouTube. Moving from one clip to the next one. Sorry, one more time? Uh, on YouTube. YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah. YouTube. Oh, yes. YouTube. Yeah, definitely. YouTube, oof, I understand that too. I, I know because at the side the side of YouTube, they give yes. you suggestions for the next the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it never ends. They just yeah. give you more and more suggestions. <laughs> Good point. Does, does anybody else have that problem? Uen says she has that problem. You're just like, you're gripped. You're there. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's funny because sometimes, even if it's intellectual things for YouTube, right? Sometimes yes, you, can, right? you can combine YouTube with language too, right? Sometimes I can do right. language. Uh, classes on YouTube because yeah. they yes. give you the next suggestion. Uh, I, mean, next I start to learn English on the YouTube, you know. Here uh, in Brazil, it's, uh, mm -hmm. English class is so expensive, so I don't have money for that. So I start to, to how can I say, to learn English on the YouTube because there's a lot of research in there, you know. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, I do that too. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Great, great videos. It's true. Yeah, lots of great videos. Yeah, for sure. However, now I just cover Colingo, so I start to learn more and more. <laughs> Forget about YouTube. I've got Colingo. Yeah, yeah, you can go to Colingo right. channel on YouTube. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I'll, 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 you still get your YouTube and your Colingo. Colingo, all the videos oh. from the beginning. You should subscribe on Colingo channel. You can ah. see uh, the review with video. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, sure. yeah. Uh, Victor, how about you? Uh, sometimes I was losing time on Colingo. <laughs> yeah. I can stay up till 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. <laughs> I, I know you're telling the truth because. I've taught you those classes at 4 or 5 p.m. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely true. Definitely true. Right, cool. Well, guys, what I want to do now is I kind of want to look at some vocabulary that we're going to use today. And then we're going to read uh, a little excerpt, okay? A little dialogue about. Losing track of time. Okay. Losing track of time. So, um, 
maybe let's start let's start with the article. See if I can grab it here. Uh, uh, please type it. Yes. Uh, type it track. Track. Pardon Liliana again? Could you type track please? Trunk? No, track. 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 Like server uh, road? T-R-A-C-K. Sorry, I, I didn't understand Liliana. One more no, time. No, 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 don't worry, no. Uh, I, now I noticed that a server uh, type it. Track. Like track. Losing track of your time. Oh, lose, oh sorry, yeah. Losing track. Losing track. Yeah. You want you type it. Okay. okay. Thank, thank you, Serbit. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to find. There we go. And I'm going to try to blow this up so that you guys can see it. Um, hopefully, this is big enough. So here we go. We're going to read the article first, and then we'll look at the vocabulary. I think. All right, that's a little bit small, right? Yeah. Could you share it a little bit? Make it bigger, please. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. Uh, Can you share the link? I, you know what? I don't have the link because I just mm. have it on um, a PDF file. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so, oh, and it's you can see that it's been photocopied, so it's a little bit mm. slanted, right? <laughs> He's not happy. Yeah. So, here we go, guys. It's called Getting Into the Flow. Getting Into the Flow. Can, can everyone see that now, or do you need it just a little bit bigger? Uh, how's yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's just cool. That's All right. Perfect. All right. So, Ayu, could you read that first paragraph for us? Okay, I'll try. Do you have a find yourself so completely gripped by what you are doing that you lose track of time? All of a sudden you look up at the clock and realize that hours have passed? This could apply to a best... Oh, sorry. It's blur. Sorry. Yeah, yes. my, my fault. Uh, all of a sudden you look up at the clock and realize that hours have passed? This could apply to a basketball player absorbed in perfecting a shot or a violin. Uh, sorry. Fiercely. Okay. Fiercely, Fiercely means um, very strongly. Okay. Strongly. Very, very Sharp. Harsh. 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 Okay. Powerful. Okay. Thank you. Um, good. Uh, Fierce. Oh, sorry, guys. Gwen, can I get you to read the next part? I'll just put it up here. The next paragraph. Yes, of course. So starting with contrary. Contrary to what many believe, many believe, these moments in our lives are not passive, receptive, relaxing times. These moments are when the body of or mind is voluntarily stressed to its limits in order to accomplish something difficult and worthwhile. Okay. In turn, we literally reflect on these moments as great experiences. It's fair to say. It's fair to say then that great experiences don't happen to us. There are something we make happen. Okay, so you and this is something that is quite positive, right? So they're yeah. talking about examples of things that where we get completely absorbed by them. We are stretching our mind because we want. Phelps, for example, his muscles might have. Eight, eight. I don't know how to pronounce this word. Yes, eight. Eight. During uh, his most memorable, memor memorable races, his lungs might have felt like they would and he might have felt overcome with tiredness. Yet there were probably the best moment of his life. He was like able to accomplish his goals. Writing control of life is never easy. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, like any no, qu no, any no questions game. about that? Sorry? Does anyone have any questions about that paragraph? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, what it does overcome means? Uh, it's mean a kind of result that you, Michael Phelps had? 
to no to overcome something is to to achieve something to do something even though you had a lot of um, obstacles okay? okay even though even though it was very difficult you do something mm -hmm. it's just nice okay and can I say Thank so you. Face obstacles? Yes, Liliana. To face obstacles? To face obstacles. Yeah, it's it's not just to face obstacles, it's to face obstacles and and it's beat successful. them. Right? To have success against obstacles. So if you have an obstacle, you can overcome the obstacle. To get over. Yeah, to get Day. over it, to, to conquer it, to win. Okay. Okay. So, hey, Servet, I have a question. Is is this the same thing you feel as Michael Phelps? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> a little bit different. <laughs> yes, I feel good. I don't feel uh, any um, unwellness, like. Okay. Okay. No uh, pain, good. no gain. No yeah, pain, no gain. Good. Right. No pain. Yeah. Uh, Oh, sorry, there was a little bit more there. Liliana, can uh, you... I didn't realize yeah. that. And it can be painful, but in the long run, great experience like this uh, add, add up to a sense of mastery that comes as close to happiness as anything else we can possibly imagine. Okay, what does that mean, guys? It, it adds to a sense of mastery. What does mastery mean? Uh, an expert. Yeah. yeah, mastery means... Two, six... Um... To excel in something? Yeah, exactly so so. Perfect. Yeah. To be the best. Okay? To to perfect it. To perfect. It. Good. To be a master. To be a master, yes. To be a master. There you go. To be, to be mastered in English. Can I say that? Uh to master. Yeah, you, you would say the verb is to master. To master okay. so you can master English. Okay. Yeah. But you know what? Honestly, Raphael, with language, it's pretty difficult to master any language, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm, I'm a native a English speaker and I have not mastered English. Could be approved. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> we can improve, but to master okay. language is difficult. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Raphael, can you read the next paragraph there? Yes, I can. I mean, I'll try. Okay. The loss of self consciousness that happens when you are completely absorbed in an activity, intellectual, social, or physical, it's described in a so, so, physical. How can Psych I say that? Psychology. Psychology as a state of flow. It is called flow because people re regularly describe the experience as similar of drifting along with the flow of the river. You don't have to be an Olympic swimmer or start musing uh, to experience flow. In order to achieve flow, you must uh, experience an activity as volunteer and enjoyable and it must require skill and present an achievable challenge with the goal being success. You must feel as thought you have control and receive in immediate feedback about your performance with the room of growth. Those you can achieve flow while reading a good book or while in fixing your car. Good. So very good. sorry about my reading guys. No no that's okay. You uh, no, did very well. No, you yeah, did very well. Good. Good. That's good. 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 Very good. One one suggestion, make sure to finish a lot of your words. So here I think you said voluntar. I want you to say voluntary. Okay, teacher. Thank you. And make sure you said enjoy, say enjoyable. So just make okay. sure to finish your words. But it, it was good. Good reading. Okay, thank you. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about that paragraph? It's a difficult one. Diff drifting along with the flow of the river. Yeah. To drift yes. along. Can anybody tell us what drifting means? Go along. Uh, with. No. Drifting. No. Yeah, usually it's like follow the stream, like yeah, uh, in a to carry slowly. I mean, by current of the air or water. Sure. You yeah. Usually it's yeah. with air and water. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Raphael. Mm -hmm. So 
when, when things are, are floating, when they float in the water but they're moving, we say they're okay. drifting. Okay. Any small, a slow movement? It's, it's, uh, usually it's slow, usually, but sometimes it can drift quicker, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, when we have, when we're looking in a river and you see a piece of wood or a piece of tree in the, in the water and it's floating there and moving down the river, we call that driftwood. From the one place to another. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But, but the actual tree would be driftwood. Okay, kind of wood. It's a drift wood because it's drifting. Drift wood. Yeah. That's wood. Thank you so much. Focus. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, okay, so this is talking about achieving flow, right? Achieving flow, and you have to do it in order to achieve flow. It's it's like what we were talking about before. When you get gripped, when you get gripped by something. You need to experience an activity as voluntary and enjoyable, right? So you can't force somebody to do it. If somebody says, go do this, it does, it's not the same, right? You can't okay. get gripped by something that somebody tells you to yeah. do. You need to enjoy it on your own. Right? Yeah. You, you have, have to like the activity you are doing, right? Definitely. To get gripped by it, I think you definitely need to enjoy it, right? Okay. Otherwise, it's just work. Otherwise, you're just Yeah. Working, right? Otherwise, it just only works. Yeah. You cannot enjoy. Yeah. It's, it's more like you enjoy your hobby, maybe. Yeah, it, it, it becomes a hobby, right? So mm -hmm. even, even if we're studying for a test and we realize, oh, wow, I've been studying for three hours. It means you, you must enjoy the subject, right? You must enjoy the subject if you got gripped by it. I never got gripped by a test. <laughs> <laughs> There's a problem. Here, here in Brazil, I don't know if he here is in Brazil or in the world, there's a proverb that say, uh, work uh, uh, as you like, then you never need to work, you know? Ah, uh, exactly. Uh, Very good point, Raphael, that's true. That's true. Same idea. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's look at number five here. Sakutara, can you read number five? Okay. A growing body of research supports the no notion that by confronting and meeting challenges, anyone can create flow in their life. What this means is that we should not aim for a life without stress or tension because the Pressure actually encouraged us to strive toward self-fulfillment or the achievement of our hope and ambition. Good, good. So, what does that mean, guys? Does, does anybody have any questions about that paragraph? No. Notion. Okay. A notion. Con confronting. <laughs> what does it mean? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'll go Confront. over that. So, in that that first sentence. First, let's look at a growing body of research. Mm -hmm. okay. This means mm -hmm. there is more and more research. When we say a growing body, we can have a body of research. This means um, many different, many different um, research projects about the same thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Raphael, I'm just going to put you on mute because there's a lot of traffic there. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, thank you. When you want to speak, just unmute yourself, okay? Okay. All right, good. I understood when you are working under pressure, uh, you can uh, work, uh, you can work uh, on the best of you, because uh, sometimes people make the better when they are working under pressure. Sure. Yeah, definitely. That, and, and a lot of this is, yeah, that's what this is talking about, right? Um, I, I want to ask something. Yes. When can we use body? Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll just finish that. So if we say a body of research, it means there is more than one, one investigation, okay? Talking about this idea of meeting challenge. It means many people have done research, okay? So when we say a body of research, it means 
more than one study, many studies make a body of research. Do you understand that, Yuan? Yes, but I'm wondering when can we use body? I mean, it's quite new to me, so I don't know how to use it. Like uh, countable nouns or uncountable nouns. Uh, this is a it's a a quantifier for research. Okay, body of research, like saying a um, uh, let's see uh, for Did sheep. If you have sheep, you say, you say a flock of sheep. A flock okay. of sheep. Flock okay. of sheep. If you have a um, a, a milk. You can't say I have a milk. You say I have a carton of milk. Okay, so you need some kind of quantifier in front of it. Okay. And for this one, we use a body of research. Does that make sense, Yuan? Yes, makes sense. Okay. Okay. I think in, in Vietnamese, do they use quantifiers quite a bit? Yeah, yes, yeah. but yeah. I've never noticed. Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> just when you have research, you can have a body of research. Okay, so it's just a quantifier for many types of research together. Okay. Or ma many types of the same research. Okay. Uh, then we say supports the notion. And notion is the idea. Okay. A notion is an idea. Okay. Sakutara, you asked about confronting. Can anybody tell Sakutara what confronting means? Like to face. To face. You know to that tell word? The truth. To face something. To to come up to something. Okay. To come up. To okay. come up or to uh, make a contrary uh, like. Uh, what to say? Like, yeah, such a kind of contrary uh, meaning. Uh, find what to say. Mm. Like to give a piece of your mind. To fight with a problem, basically. To, to deal with. You can, yeah, just to, to, to have a problem and to face the problem, to go up to it and and deal with the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you have to meet face to face, I mean. When you meet face to face with a problem, you are confronting the problem. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Good. Uh, anything else there, guys? Self fulfillment. Self fulfillment. Yes. Okay. This means it gives us a feeling that we have done something positive, mm. that we have done something that is good for us, and makes us better. Okay? So we, get the, we are learning another language because it gives us self-fulfillment. Self-satisfaction. Good yeah. Also, same, similar thing. Okay. Uh, so it comes from like when you eat something, it become, you become full. It's yeah, full it's, yeah, it's similar except we're talking about filling yourself with knowledge. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. yeah. Or filling yourself with ability. Okay. Good. Uh, Let's keep going because we're going to look at all of these words at the end, but I want to make sure we have time. We only have 20 minutes. So. Um, Servet, can you read yes. this next paragraph? It's quite long, so you get a long one. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Scientists such as Mihail, Sidzen Mihaili, pronounced Mihai, Chiksen Mihai. Good. <laughs> <laughs> study the impact of flow states on human happiness, productivity, and success. In one study, 250 high flow and low flow teenagers were asked to report on their feelings and activities at regular intervals. The high flow teenagers generally reported more time on hobbies, sports, and homework and measured higher levels of self-esteem and engagement. Interestingly, however, they self-reported lower levels of fun than the low-flow teenagers. Apparently, high-flow teenagers see their, see their low-flow peers 
as experiencing more far engaging and low flow amusements such as video games, TV and socializing. However, the high flow teenagers end up having greater long term happiness as as, as well as success in school, social relationships and careers. Okay, good. So does everybody understand what we're talking about with high flow and low flow uh, teenagers? Nope. Anybody like, have an idea? Like energetic teenagers having uh, um, <laughs> uh, Well, let's look at what they talk about in the in before. Flow in your life, okay? So when we we're talking, we talked in, in, in the paragraph Sakutara talked about, he said, confronting and meeting challenges, anyone can create flow in their life. So uh -huh. someone who is always confronting challenges, always uh -huh. doing things, really striving to, to do something very difficult all the time, these are considered high flow people. High flow. Mm -hmm. high flow. Okay. This is I the study. Like, like successful people? Not successful. It means they they always want challenges. They always need challenges. Yeah, to take a risk. They, not even risks because we're, we're talking about being gripped by something, right? Being gripped. So things in their life that grip them. So for example, uh, we did the example of Michael Phelps. Yep. He would be a high flow Swimmer. person because he's always confronting challenges. He's always trying to be better, better, better. Okay? Mm -hmm. He's a perfectionist. He, he's yes. a perfectionist. Perfect. Really good yes. word. Always try to break the record. Yeah. Perfectionists are people who never stop, right? They always want to be better, right? Always trying to be better. So these are high flow people people who are always trying to do better and it's interesting because what what do they say happens with high flow compared to low flow teenagers what do high they flow so for those spend uh, more on happy spot the high flow teenager end up having greater long term happiness Ah, okay, okay, that's true. But there's there's a few different things they say here. They say the high flow teenagers do more. They spend more time on sports, hobbies, and homeworks, and have higher levels of self esteem. Oh, okay. oh. They're really working hard at all these things, but oh. they have said they say they self report. So they say about themselves. They say they have lower levels of fun than the low flow teenagers. They feel that their friends who are low flow, who don't who don't push themselves, they say they have more fun. Oh, of course. Oh, but you're right. At the end here, Ayu, you're right. They say the high flow teenagers end up having greater long term happiness. So later in life, they have more happiness. Okay. They don't have time to enjoy it themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think maybe at the beginning they miss their they miss a lot of their childhood. Uh -huh. right? yeah. They list they miss a lot of their youth, but in the end, they still enjoy their life, their lives after. Yeah. They have more probably happiness. have a success in everything they want. Sure, they lots of success, of like course. Some, yeah. Some celebrities they. They didn't have a child like Michael Jackson. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next one here, we have number seven. So, 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 can you read number seven for us? Okay, sure. Sure. If flow has such incredible benefits for our happiness, relationships, and success, then why do we usually choose to let ourselves be distracted by low flow and Arguably trivial activities. Activities. Why do we often choose our favorite TV program over an and and I don't know what this means. Engaging. Engaging. Fictional novel or game of basketball. 
One hypothesis is that high flow activities require more intentional mot uh, motivation because they require skill and con concentration. In other words, high flow activities are work, but work that pays off. All right. D does everybody agree with that? Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. All right. Uh, guys, let's take a look at the reading, uh, not the comprehension. We're going to go back to that. I just want to look quickly at some of these words, okay? Some of these words. So I'm just going to ask each one of you, uh, one at a time, to look at the word and tell me what it means, okay? So, Ayu, I'm going to start with you. But first, yeah. let's, look, let's look first at gripped, okay? We talked about gripped. That's what this is all about, being gripped by something. So... The definition for gripped is deeply engaged or interested. Yeah. Okay. Deeply engaged or interested. Now, are you, can you tell me about absorbed? What does absorbed mean? Which of those two definitions? Uh, very interested in something. Often you, uh, often to the point of not noticing other things happening around you. Sure. You're just like, uh, yeah like what to say uh, mm, yeah what oh, I forgot the words uh, like <laughs> like the woods Drink. that float in the water in the river like that just just follow the stream sort of sort of can, just can somebody use uh, an example of absorbed talking about it in this sense I absorb in uh, this uh, interesting book. I absorb myself in this uh, book. Sure, perfect. So, uh, Lilia, I am certainly my work. Sure, getting absorbed in your work, getting absorbed in a book, right? Getting absorbed in uh -huh. a eco class. Yeah. Right. That means you're very interested and you're not noticing anything else. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, okay. Quinn, can you read uh, number three? Can you tell me. No, do I have to explain the word according to the article? Uh, well, first, just give me. Can you give me the definition of fiercely first from those two definitions? Yeah, for me, both of them make sense, but uh, I'll go with A according to the article. Sure. Yeah, you're right. According to the article. <laughs> This is saying energetically and with strong feelings. You're right. This isn't, if we did B, what would be an example of B using fiercely? Like when you are in the competition, the competition is fierce. It's very competitive. Everybody sure. wants to win. Okay, okay. Um, or we could say maybe like a, a tiger attacked me fiercely, mm -hmm. right? with a lot of force. Um, how would you use fiercely if we used A as the definition? Wow. Oh, this is new to me. Actually. Okay. okay. Can, can anybody use fiercely from that first definition there? Uh, uh, Is it fair, right? Uh, an adverb, uh, Daniel? Uh, yeah, it, this is an adverb. Yeah, this is an adverb. She so pushed her fiercely. Again, yeah. when? He plays guitar fiercely. Sure, yeah, he plays guitar fiercely. It means he's really playing guitar. And this is a, a very specific Ad adverb because it's um it's very powerful. If you say somebody does something fiercely, it means they really do it. It's a very powerful adverb. Okay. It can very be powerful. any kind of feeling or in a specific feeling. What do you mean, Servet? For example, you can uh, compete fiercely, or you can uh, come up with an uh, purpose fiercely, maybe like marriage. Ah, uh, well, what yeah, kind you, of feelings? 
Well, it's it's such a strong adverb that it, it really describes um, an action that we're doing with a lot of a lot of power. Okay, so you can't come up with something fiercely because it's difficult to come up with something in a fierce way. It needs to be something you do fiercely. Okay, to say somebody, for example, said that it would be difficult to use. He fiercely ate his sandwich. Mm -hmm. Right. That's not something somebody could really do fiercely. It means you really need to be passionate while you're doing it. And okay. Daniel, mm -hmm. can I say the aircraft was burning fiercely? Sure. Yeah, you could say that. Uh -huh. oh, what yeah. did you say, Liliana? Uh, the aircraft was burning fiercely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great example. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. So you're right. It's not just about people. Not just with people, but it's with a lot of energy, right? That's very energetic. Okay. Uh, country, uh, we can use it fiercely or about uh, with the animal, I mean, like a tiger, like a, a, a lion. We don't? Sure, yeah, no, you can definitely use it. You can definitely use it. If he's doing something with a lot of energy, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Good questions, guys. Good questions. Uh, okay. Number four, ache. So, Liliana, how would you use ache? What is the definition there? Uh, a, to feel a continuous but not very sharp pain in a part of your body. Okay. Uh, this is true, but in the article, how is it used? Uh, Do you remember? Uh, sharp ache. Uh, but let's let's just go back up to the article here and find muscle, ache. in the muscles. Ache in the muscles. Yeah, yeah, you can ache. Helps. Ache, ache, very ache in the muscle. Tiredness. Yeah. yeah, his his muscles might have ached, right? Mm -hmm. So in this in this situation, that is correct. We used ached, just like you said, Liliana, to feel a sharp pain in your body. We can also use it to say to want to do or have something very much. So for example, uh, he was, the, the, the little boy was aching for Christmas to come. Okay? Aching for? Aching. aching for it. It means he really wanted it to happen. He was so excited. Like to die long for it. something. Mm -hmm. to, long, to long for something. Good, to long for it. So what did you say, Servet? To die. Dying something. Yeah, to die for. Yeah, to die, yeah, for. die yeah. for. Can I say, for. Daniel, can I say yeah. endeavor? Uh, again? Endeavor. Endeavor. Uh, an endeavor is something that you take on. So an endeavor is an actual, that, that's a noun, an endeavor. That's like um, to, it's a challenge. An endeavor is a challenge. Okay? To take on a challenge. Yeah, last time I checked in the dictionary, they say it's a verb. Uh -huh. uh, endeavor. That that would be more like he, he tried. Yeah, it, it's a noun. It's a noun and a verb actually. To endeavor to do something is to to challenge yourself to do something. Okay. Okay. Like, like to have a strong desire or something? Not, not a strong desire, but for something, it, you know it will be difficult. Something will be difficult, but you endeavor to do it anyway. Uh -huh. okay. <clears throat> okay. So to, to try something that will be difficult. Right. Uh, so you guys, we have five more minutes, so I just want to get through these last vocabulary questions that we did what we were supposed to do today. Um, okay, explode, explode. Raphael, how would we use explode from if we're talking about the article? How is explode used? Uh, I mean, I don't remember very well. However, I'll try. Explode is a kind of that you you have you gave uh, a lot of uh, by yourself. I mean, you explode your emotion. You explode it to get the flow. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So the way you're saying it would be um, like A, 
right? To burst into small pieces, something exploded. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, th does anybody remember how explode was used in the in the article? I think yes. it should, I think it's B. B. It should be B. B. Okay. It should be B. Suddenly increased greatly in number. Yep. Yeah, Such you're a right. kind of yeah. feeling. Okay. Do you remember what it was that exploded? Does anyone remember? What can fell belong? You 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 felt something burn uh, uh like exploding inside your uh inside your body when you achieve something. Ah, okay, yes. So to feel some, to feel an explosion, to, to things are getting very big inside you, right? Mm -hmm. So you feel you feel a great amount of something inside you. Let's see how they use it. Let's find the exact sentence here. Let's see. There we go. So we were talking about just after we talked about Michael Phelps, they said Yep. His ah, lungs like they no, would they explode. So I was this so is like, a <laughs> How is it that they used it? A or B? A. A, right? They were talking about yeah, his lungs actually exploding. Oh. <laughs> his lungs. But but it was good. You got you were all right. You were all right that uh Ex you can feelings can explode inside you, or or things can get much bigger very quickly. It exploded, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, Sakutara. This was the word that you asked about, wasn't it? No, you asked about a different one. Can Can you give me overcome? Which one of those definitions do they use, Sakutara? I think it's a able to successfully conjure the feeling or problem. That would prevent you from achieving something. D does everybody agree? Agree. Yes. Yeah. What What yeah. do you overcome in the in this article? Remember? Obstacle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Over. It, I I think we talked about it a lot when we were talking about yes. what overcome was. We right? have to overcome the obstacle. Exactly. You need to overcome the obstacles. Good. Um, next one. Intellectual. Intellectual. Servet, can you give that one? Yes. Um, intellectual should be a a person who is well educated. But in this context, yeah. In this context, you're right. In this context, you're right. Right. Uh, so, so what about drift? Okay, B. In in this context of of the article. Yeah. It's how how would you use it in a sentence, so so? Mm, I'm drift by I don't know something. Sure, you could say maybe he was drifting through life, okay. right? He drifted through the assignment. It means you're doing something, but you're not really, you're not very excited about it. You're not paying attention. It's just happening, right? Mm. Does everybody understand that drift? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Good. Uh, Victor, how about confront? Uh, I think it's I deal with something very difficult or unpleasant mm. in the and get a Yeah, exactly, exactly. In this situation, it's A. If we say, um, he confronted me in a back alley, that would be B, right? Somebody confronts yeah. you. But mm -hmm. in this in this situation, we're talking about A. You're right. Yeah. 